Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Pretty nice looking Wednesday, that is for sure. A lot of sunshine. There was no rain today, although we need the rain. There's no rain here across the state, and again, winds have been pretty light. As we take you out live in Tampa, look at that beautiful shot there. That's our live Centex Drill System Sky Tracker. It's on top of the Kyle Building in downtown Tampa. All looking good at this hour, and we'll switch it over to our, our Woodway Sky Tracker. That is 84, and you are looking at, again, a lot of blue sky right now, and that'll be the story later on tonight as well as tomorrow. We've got 86 degrees right now in Waco. It's 87, Temple 87. 86 in Killeen, and temperatures just as pleasant down toward the Brazos Valley, 87 degrees in Hearn, and College Station checks in right at 87 degrees. Now, our dew points, again, the dew points, the measure of how much moisture is in the air, the lower the number, the more comfortable it is, the drier the air is. And temperatures have been in the upper 40s and lower 50s, so that's very, very dry, and that's why it's been feeling so good here across the region. Our satellite loop, pretty quiet weather. Matter of fact, you have to go well to the north and to the east up around uh, Arkansas to see any activity with some clouds for the most part. And out west, we're looking at pretty high and dry weather. We're still dominated by high pressure aloft, and that will provide us not only with the quiet conditions, but it will start to turn our wind more to the south and east as we go throughout the day tomorrow, which will start to usher in a little bit more moisture. Here's our exclusive Viper radar. Again, quiet conditions across the state. Once again, the active weather is well off to our east, as you can see there in parts of uh, Mississippi and Alabama, heading up toward Tennessee. That's where they're seeing the showers and isolated storms. But back here, we've got quiet weather. If you have plans this evening, maybe you, your kids have softball or t-ball. A great night for that. Temperatures by 7 o'clock falling back down into the upper 70s in most areas. And then by early in the evening and to midnight, we're going to see those temperatures fall back down into the 60s. So clear skies, uh, mid to upper 60s by midnight. And then by tomorrow morning, temperatures again dropping down into the upper 50s across most areas. Again, pretty quiet weather uh, really starting to set up here. And it's been very nice the last couple of mornings there with those 50s. As we go throughout the morning tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures climbing back into the mid to upper 80s. And then by the afternoon, we'll top out around 90, maybe 92 degrees. So it's going to be hotter tomorrow than it was out there today. But with that lower humidity, it's not going to feel too bad. And then by late Thursday into Friday, you can kind of see our temperatures going to down just a little bit. But more of a southeasterly breeze kicks in. So a little bit more moisture moves in. Temperatures will only fall into the 60s now. This is by Friday morning. And then throughout the day on Friday, still looks good. Hardly a cloud around. Temperatures low to mid-90s. And of course, 5 o'clock in the evening on Friday, Getting ready for high school football looks like a great night here across the region. Wanted to check on the uh, tropics. It's been pretty quiet here over the last couple of weeks. There's just one little disturbance. You can see it right there. Uh, the National Hurricane Center is only giving a 20% chance of any development here over the next five days. Tonight's forecast, though, mostly clear skies, 59 degrees, a low temperature. We are looking at mostly sunny skies tomorrow, about 92 degrees the high, winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, as we look ahead here, this is the Waco Mattress Center long range 10 day forecast. High and dry this weekend looks good. 92 on Saturday, 93 on Sunday. Now, there's a front that moves through, but it's not until like late Sunday into Monday. So I think your day and light hours on Sunday will be fine and dandy. Monday, we'll watch it a little bit cooler. And then you can see temperatures next week, maybe a little bit closer to where they should be. Some more rain chances maybe by the end of the week with those nighttime lows staying up in the 60s. So a little bit more moisture will keep those temperatures in the 60s. And then down toward Bryan and College Station, 90 degrees tomorrow, 90 on Friday. As we hit the weekend, it'll be in the lower 90s. And again, there's the front that tries to move through Sunday into Monday. We'll watch that. And there's another one that tries to come through later on in the week. But uh, all in all, we are looking uh, pretty good here across the region. I will say, even though you're saying it's 